when I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Oh my God! Horace head! Bad, bad, bad idea. Duh. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? I've washed my hair 15 times. <laughs> if you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and I want to be very, very clear right up front. What Tessica Brown did was idiotic, dumb, just hilariously dumb, and it should be mocked. Now, just because somebody does something silly, makes a mistake, that doesn't make them a bad person. That doesn't, I mean, we've all done something dumb before, okay? But let's not pretend that anybody defending this isn't enacting the soft bigotry of low expectations. Putting industrial glue in your hair is something that should be soundly mocked. It should not be rewarded with nearly $20,000 in uh, uh, GoFundMe cash and free surgeries and hundreds of thousands of social media followers. When did we start co-signing stupid? This is not good. What this actually does is teaches people that you can literally profit from being a moron. All right. Tessica Brown did this to herself and she should be mocked by everybody. It's mostly upper middle class blue checkmark white people that are the ones that are enacting, of course, the soft bigotry of low expectations. Everyone else is mocking this woman, rightfully so. Tessica Brown is a 40-year-old woman with now s nearly 700,000 followers on Instagram and the GoFundMe linked in the description and she now has management, okay? You all got played. If you're giving this woman money, you got got. If you feel like you need to give this woman money, you need to look deep into why you're doing that. Why is it out of guilt? Literally everybody should be pointing and laughing at this person. Tessica Brown, woman in glue hair horror, may sue over ordeal. <laughs> of course she's going to sue. Are you kidding me? This is the modern legal system we have in the United States. It rewards morons. People have broken into other people's homes and sued them for being locked in the garage after falling through a skylight and having to eat dog food and won. All right? This country co-signs stupid all the time. A Louisiana woman, woman, 40-year-old woman, went viral after struggling to remove Gorilla Glue. You know, the glue you buy at the hardware store, not at the beauty supply store. This would be like me running out of uh, olive oil and being like, yo, I'm out of olive oil and I need to cook some eggs. So I'm just going to use motor oil too because both are oils. Now, she's considering a lawsuit to get out of the sticky situation, according to TMZ. Tesca Brown hired an attorney, because of course she did, as weighing litigation against Gorilla Glue, because while the product's label warns against using on eyes, skin, or clothing, it doesn't mention hair. Well, I mean, hair is connected to the scalp and is also made up of skin cells, but I mean, that's let's not use facts here. During Brown's weekend trip to the ER for being a moron, healthcare workers put acetone on the back of her head, but instead of getting the, at the root of the problem, it burned the scalp only to make the glue gooey before hardening back up. Gorilla Glue is aware of that statement 
and tweet and tweeted a statement. And I want to look at that because I actually strongly support this statement. We are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident, unfortunate incident that Miss Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. We are glad to see her recent video that Miss Brown has received treatment from her local facility and wish her the best. It goes on to say, we are aware of the situation and are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident. Uh, this is a unique situation because this product is not indicated for use on hair as it is considered permanent. Our spray adhesive states in the warning label, do not swallow, do not get in eyes, on skin, on clothing. It is used for crafts, home, auto, and office projects to mount things to surfaces such as paper, cardboard, wood laminate, and fabric. We are glad to see in a recent video that she's received medical treatment from her local medical facility and wish her the best. I mean, you can go back. Yeah, we thought we'd never have to say this, but please do not use our products on your effing hair. Well, that's not really their tweet, but ultimately, you know, at least she got a lot of likes for her video where she purposely put it in her hair because she, quote, ran out of gel. Now she's suing and fundraising for a stunt gone wrong. That's exactly it. And if you look at this, 846 absolute morons have given this woman money uh, and, and rising. Who are these people and why are they giving her money? We should all be pointing and laughing, not giving this person money. And of course, now everyone else is cashing in. Plastic Surgeon offers to help remove Gorilla Glue from Tesca Brown's hair. I'm surprised that they don't actually have some sort of like statement on how to get it removed if you get it on your skin. My guess is it's just going to take time. Um... The Louisiana woman who went viral for using Gorilla Glue as hairspray may finally become unstuck with a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon reportedly offering to remove it for free. Tesca Brown, whose hair has been stuck solid for a month, has already tried medical help with a trip to the ER. Uh, now plastic surgeon Dr. Michael I Want Free Press has told her he can finally end her sticky situation using medical grade glue remover in a procedure that could take three days. Brown, who has raised $13,000 in an online fundraiser, is set to fly to L.A. Wednesday. Nothing like a free vacation on top uh, of gaining hundreds of thousands of followers on, on TikTok and Instagram for being a moron. This is who kids look up to. 700,000 people follow this person. She went on a viral when she revealed TikTok how her hair had been stuck solid for a month. By the way, hasn't said anything for a month. So let's stop pretending this is a medical emergency. All right. She did. She lived with this for a month and is now all of a sudden suffering unbelievably so bad that she needs all of your money. Bad, bad, bad idea. She said in the original clip, which has been seen more than 20 million times. She was reportedly considering suing over the nightmare with the glue, which is only intended to be used on products like wood, laminate, fabric, paper, and cardboard. Now, if we look at this ambulance chasing lawyer, Xavier Pope, this whole thread has restored my faith in humanity. He wrote, Gorilla Glue hair is not skin. Well, when she sprayed the Gorilla Glue on her hair, did any of that perhaps go? I didn't know that hair also had a force field that would have protected her scalp. Your product failed to adequately. This person's a lawyer now. Just want to be clear. This person's a lawyer. Your product failed to adequately warn knowing hair glue in fact exists. And many black women use hair glue as adhesive. For this, your company is liable. I like how he like low key calls black women stupid. You should have given her a sponsorship deal. Instead, you will be held accountable. Let's just see how the replies are going. Uh, messages to me. There's a lot of anti-blackness and elitism in the comment. Y'all hate your own. Try to eat your own. Stop that. Hmm. It doesn't even say glue on the bottle. Gorilla Glue's logo doesn't even have the word glue in it. I, I mean, are you joking? Uh, you, and, and most of the black women in here, black women... Nothing. We know what to use. She did not. This narrative is irresponsible and disrespectful. Completely destroyed. She said in the written, this is uh, what we will call black Twitter, apparently. I don't know. Um, these are black folks replying to him. She said in the radio interview, I choose, I, radio interview, I chose to use it and I thought I could wash it out before it sets later. You acknowledge she knew she wasn't supposed to put it in her hair. 
Another reply, what law school do you go to? Did you go to and do they give refunds? I mean, this is I mean, unbelievable uh, that all of a sudden he also low key shades black folks. Gorilla Glue took the necessary steps to make people aware that their product isn't meant for dermatolo dermatological purposes. She admitted to misusing the product. The fault on her the fault is on her entirely. They don't sell Gorilla Glue in the hair care aisle for a reason. Alt I mean, just everybody completely dunking on this moron. Um, imagine, I mean, you know, the idea that you should be bailed out. I mean, look, if her family wants to raise money, you know, she made a mistake. It doesn't make her a terrible person. The, the, <laughs> I've never seen hair grow independent of skin. What, what this is ultimately, uh, is she made a mistake and look, if she gets paid, People are stupid. Fools and their money are soon parted all the time. But the idea that this dude's like trying to low key shade the black community or in particular black females, you know, you see, uh, sir, I accidentally used furniture polish as cooking spray because the bottles look the same. How much can you get me? Uh, <laughs> this is just an embarrassment. Stop co signing stupidity and don't be afraid to call people stupid. I know why people are afraid to because it's Twitter and they don't want to be called all sorts of terrible things. But let me be very clear this woman gained a massive following. She now has management and she's profiting from it. You all got got. Let's stop with feeling bad for, pe for people. And of course, the bigotry of low expectations. I see you too. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.